Welcome to Norfolk Perspectives. I'm Bob Batcher, and I got the car guy here and his wife and the one that tells him how to keep business straight. Dan Short, owner of Phantom Works. How's it going? Just great. Thank you for having us here. I, yeah, I am fairly confident that somebody's looking at the TV and saying, wait a minute, change the channel. I'm on the wrong station. <laughs> so, yes. okay, a veteran, a car guy, a TV star. A uh, TV star is definitely stretching it a lot. We just happen to be on a TV show. Phantom Works. Yes. Tell me about it. How did that happen? Um, a, uh, the owner of the production company uh, came in one day. Basically, I'm, and I'm not sure it wasn't a setup, but he asked me about <laughs> building a car. And after a two-hour meeting with him going over why we could build this particular car for him, he said, uh, that's it. we got to do a show here and uh, tried to convince me to do the show, which I actually turned down several times until he sort of convinced me that it was the right thing to do. Now, I've got to, I'm going to ask the ultimate judge here. The person sitting next to you happens to have the same last name as you. Yes. Melissa Short. Yes. Did it change your life in any way when he got on the, on the tube? It's changed it a lot in that it takes a lot of his time. So it's very time consuming. I think much more than we expected. Is the car guy thing a love, advocation, vocation? It's more than love. It's, it's passion. I don't even know if there's really a word for Obsession it. Obsession is Obsession probably. Obsession doesn't yeah. even go far enough. Now, so. now, I've got you down here as HR manager. Right. So what, what do you get to do as an HR manager with all of these car jockeys? Well, I'm trying to get people into the shop to work. So <laughs> we have a lot of unique positions and we do everything on the cars. So we have to have skilled people to fill those positions. Okay. Now, so you get, you obviously have the skilled people because it's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you have to convince them it's work? Because aren't they kind of in there having fun, too? Sometimes. I mean, they all enjoy it, so it is a lot of fun. And you see, hear a lot of them say, I can't believe I get paid to do this, you know? <laughs> um, and most people that walk in, you know, they want to volunteer just to sweep the floor. But, you know, we really need people that You're on to me. I was, that was my last <laughs> question. Now, Audrey Sickles, I think it's kind of cool that they bring the office manager in, because do you have to keep the two of them straight then, right? Uh, more so trying to like stop problems before they get to them. Okay, I, I'm going to ask you from the get-go because I've, I've got to. I, I know when we were in pre-tape, I ask a question about the Challenger, and I'm going to le let you answer it. What's the latest Challenger on board? Uh, it's the new Dodge Hellcat. Yeah, that's about what you did in pre-tape. You kind of lit up. So you're yeah. not just a bookkeeper, are you? You no. love this business too. Yes. Okay. What do you drive to work? I drive a Sentra. It's good on gas. <laughs> okay. Well, well, listen, what do you drive to work? Well, right now I'm driving a Chevy Volt. Okay. Um, but once in a while I'll drive in my 57 Corvette that I received as a birthday present. You had to rub that in, didn't you? I know, you? right? <laughs> okay, so Dan, what do you drive to work? Um, on nice days, my 67 Corvette. On uh, bad days, uh, an S2000 Honda. Bad day would be rain? Um, when it's raining. Raining. Yeah. Okay, let's, I mentioned vet because you spent, mm -hmm. both of you guys, mm -hmm. right. Spent uh, 20 years plus? Mm -hmm. Right. In the, in the... I was in the Navy. He was on Navy Army. Army. Okay. So what was your job in the Army? Um, I started out as what's known as a Green Beret. Uh, that's my first eight years. Mm -hmm. And then I became a test pilot uh, in the Apache. And then my last eight years were spent as a program manager. And uh, I was actually the uh, APM for the MH60 program, which is uh, the special ops variant of the Black Hawk. Okay. So how did you get into... Breaking down and rebuilding old cars then? Um, I had built aircraft for several years and I wanted to do something uh, not military related. And I'd been building cars since I was 18, so it was a time to take all the experience I had in the military and tie it into my passion, which is building antique cars and, and put it together. Okay. Now, I, I've got to tell you, I, my, I remember one day um, our assistant director of economic development came in and I don't know. He was a fairly mature professional guy, but when he was talking to me, he was about eight, 18 years old, I think, all over. He says, you're not going to believe who's moving to Hampton Boulevard. How did that happen? Because it's kind of an unusual place you're in. It is. Um, National Linen was the building in mm -hmm. the 30s and the 40s. Um, we needed a bigger space, and a man named David Holmes uh, had owned a business there, but his business had eventually, you know, with time, it had, it had basically gone under. And the building was huge and almost 100 years old. So it was really perfectly set up to build 100-year-old cars and not really good for much anything else. So uh, we struck a deal. That's what you told her when you got home that night. <laughs> it, it <laughs> <is>. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, 
it's just the perfect building. If you come into that building, you'll see it's uh, brick and steel girders and a, and a wood ceiling. And it just it just has this perfect atmosphere for the old cars. Well, you know, we kind of snuck in. I think we're showing some of that. We snuck in one day when you were actually taping mm -hmm. uh, the show and, and kind of took some B-roll. But it's an awesome building. But now people don't just mosey in off the street, though, right? Well, they used to. They try to. And, and these two have put a stop to that. Audrey actually stops them at the door now. So you've caught me with my nose up against the window. Huh? <laughs> was that you? Yeah, it was me, probably. Because I love going up Hampton Boulevard and seeing kind of dreaming. Now, mm -hmm. is it just who, who kind of, I, I know you're not going to mention some of your customers, but who are some of the people? Yeah, well, who are some of the people that do this? Oh, um, we have customers right now. We're doing uh, a car from Italy, a car from uh, England, and one from Mexico City, Mexico, as well as, oh, probably 15 of the states inside the United States. So we get cars from all over the, the country and all over the world. Wow. Right here in Norfolk. How did we you do. find Norfolk? Um, military. Um, Melissa had to get assigned to... Some place that we could be together, the right. Army and the there Navy. So otherwise, it was mm. going to be a, a pretty sad separation. Yeah. So I said, if you could get to Norfolk or Hawaii, or right. yeah, he was looking at Leavenworth. I said, where's the ocean? We're not going to oh, make it go. there, that's you right. know? Yeah. <laughs> because that's kind of the cool part about this story. Because I mean, you guys really do emulate what's happening here in Norfolk with the military and the transitioning out. They don't call it retirement anymore. Right. Transitioning out and then really finding this to be kind of a great place to start a start afresh it's been a fantastic how many years era. has it been now um we're on our eighth year okay i'm going to ask you a question because this show comes on at 8 p.m okay so before i allow you to say what station you're at what time does your show come on our show airs it actually all the new episodes come out twice a week they come out sunday at nine and then tuesday at nine hey, it works right after norfolk perspective that's it right. and exactly. so when the station is uh it's on velocity which is a discovery station um, it is actually filmed by the local company out of Suffolk called uh, New Dominion Pictures. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's sort of a local show brought to the international stage. Sort of a local show. Well, <laughs> I like well, I could go on forever, and I didn't get a chance to ask you about that 1975 Dodge Dart, what I should do with it. Do you still have it? Uh, no, I gave it, a, I sold it, and it blew up right after that. So that's well, probably... Probably a good thing, yeah. yeah. You probably got rid of it at the right time. <laughs> Thanks a lot for uh, coming and joining us on Norfolk Perspectives it's and looking forward to tuning in at 9 o'clock. Outstanding. Right. Thank you for having Thanks. us. Thanks a lot. Thank when we you. come back, the Hampton Roads Naval Museum has stuff that you won't expect to see at a Naval Museum. Stay tuned.